Hi, I'm Kim Schmidt, and I'm going to take you on a deep dive to understand and learn about Amazon Aurora, the newest database engine to be added to Amazon RDS. The story around Amazon Aurora is fascinating. Amazon Aurora is a true relational database paradigm shift, and I'll explain why in this first video. Amazon Aurora is the fastest growing service in AWS history as of September 2016. It's a MySQL compatible relational database engine that combines the speed and availability of high-end commercial databases with the simplicity and cost effectiveness of open source databases. You need relational databases to power the applications that run your business. Traditionally, these servers are expensive and complicated. As your business grows, you need more and more servers to keep up with the huge amount of data needed today to keep your business current, incurring more charges with licenses and staff, which not only is a never-ending job, but you need to buy more hardware and have many DBAs to provision, configure, and maintain them. Or you could go the route of using commodity hardware using an open source database engine. But that meant many sleepless nights for developers and DBAs with each growth hurdle and to keep everything running smoothly all the time, no matter what. Then, AWS released Amazon Aurora. Amazon Aurora is MySQL 5.6 compatible. It has five times the performance over standard MySQL running on the same hardware. It's as least as available, durable, and fault tolerant as enterprise class database engines. It's highly secure. It scales up to millions of transactions per minute. If you need more than that, you can add up to 15 read replicas. It automatically grows storage up to 64 terabytes, and it costs one-tenth the amount of the leading enterprise database engines. Oh, and did I mention all of the complicated database administrative tasks, like provisioning, patching, and monitoring, are managed by AWS Relational Database Service, so you don't have to. This concludes Section 1.1, What is Amazon Aurora? Coming up next is Section 1.2, The Business Value of Amazon Aurora. In this section, I'll touch on the business value of Amazon Aurora, why it's being so widely adopted, and why Amazon Web Services is the market leader in cloud technologies. Amazon RDS gives you the ability to choose from six different database engines. Amazon Aurora, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server. The first four options, including Amazon Aurora, are open source database engines, emphasized in the left image. The last two options, emphasized in the right image, are high-end commercial database engines that require you to pay for licensing and more. As you can see in this screenshot, in the middle section, surrounded by a red rectangle, is the license model that you have to choose when launching one of those commercial database engines. Here you are looking at a running Amazon Aurora cluster on the left and a running instance of SQL Server on the right. Notice the Instance Actions drop-down options and the user interface is very similar. The monitoring drop-downs are similar as well. Rather than going down the typical NoSQL route, which takes some time to learn and even more time to get business value out of it, it's easier for database developers to use a familiar paradigm. The real business value is that most people that work with relational databases work with databases that are based on ANSI SQL. 
Amazon Aurora is also based on ANSI SQL. Therefore, there is feature parity with traditional relational database engines, but at a much bigger scale. Now I'm going to go over some facts about Amazon Web Services as a business that I find fascinating, and I hope you do too. In 2015, for the first time ever, Amazon Web Services revealed its finances. In a statement in the press release, Jeff Bezos, founder, chairman, and CEO of Amazon.com, was quoted saying, Amazon Web Services is a $5 billion plus business and is growing fast. In fact, it's accelerating. Business Insider also stated that with AWS generating about $6 billion a year, that makes it the biggest cloud infrastructure provider out there insofar as revenue is concerned. This is amazing to me when AWS is notoriously generous for continually reducing prices and passing on savings to their customers. Gartner confirms that for the fifth consecutive year, AWS is the overwhelming market share leader, with over 10 times more cloud compute capacity in use than the aggregate total of the other 14 cloud providers in their magic quadrant. Gartner also confirms AWS has the most diverse customer base and the broadest range of use cases, including enterprise mission-critical applications. Gartner also confirms that because AWS has a multi-year competitive advantage over its competitors, it's been able to attract over a thousand technology partners and independent software vendors that have licensed and packaged their software to run on AWS, have integrated their software with AWS capabilities, or to deliver add-on services all through the AWS marketplace, the largest app store in the world, surpassing Apple, even though it's a B2B app store. I encourage you to browse the plethora of services available the AWS marketplace has that make your job easier by supplying on-demand, pay-as-you-go, pre-configured software solutions deployed with just a few clicks. aws.amazon.com WAC Marketplace. Most people choose a cloud provider based on their most precious assets, their data. To date, there are over 50 AWS services and hundreds of features to support virtually any big data workload, with new features released weekly. The AWS Marketplace has over 290 big data software solutions. As a matter of fact, most other cloud companies follow AWS's lead in innovation. This concludes Section 1.2, The Business Value of Amazon Aurora. Coming up next is Section 1.3, What Makes Amazon Aurora a Game Changer? In this section, I'll go over why Amazon Aurora is referred to as a game changer and what that really means. Wikipedia defines a game changer as a person or thing that dramatically changes the course, strategy, character, etc. of something. And Amazon Aurora has done just that. The name Aurora means a new dawn in the world of relational database engines. Let me explain why. Sometime around 2011, Andy Jassy, the man responsible for the conception of AWS and currently AWS's CEO, challenged his team to come up with a solution to the question you see on the screen. In a world where AWS exists, how would you redesign the relational database? Relational databases were first created about 40 years ago. They ran on expensive, monolithic software, running on expensive, mainframe hardware, and were managed by an elite group of database administrators. But today, there's AWS's scalability, AWS services, and AWS's cost structure. So, 
they created a new log-based storage system that scales out multi-tenant and is optimized for database workloads. The database engine uses a service-oriented decoupled architecture. It's built on AWS for the cloud. It's integrated with other AWS services like EC2, S3, VPC, DynamoDB, and Route 53. It's self-managed and self-healing. It's highly performant. It's very low priced. It's MySQL 5.6 compatible, and migration is accomplished with just a few clicks. This concludes Section 1.3, What Makes Amazon Aurora a Game Changer? Coming up next is Section 1.4, What Exactly Does MySQL Compatible Mean, and Why Is This Important?